Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Solving your exponential equations for mathematics N3 is also an important aspect of your studies and in this particular um, short lesson i brought you a typical exam question that involves some exponential equations and then if we look at the question it says we need to solve for x and we're given some exponents which is 2 to the exponent that and 2 to the exponent that and then we've got 2 to the exponent negative x this is equal to 42. So now the question is, how do you approach such questions in your final exam? Now, the first thing that you need to do is to use the first law of exponents. Remember, you are given that the first law of exponents, it says a to the power of x times a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y so this is the law where which which we are using in this case it says when the bases are the same and then there is a multiplication sign between the two exponents then you add the exponents now if i can write the same law from left to right in this case in this direction what i'll be having is i'll be having a to the power x plus y is equal to therefore i'm going to split this x plus y exponent to give me a to the power of x times a to the power of y so this is basically the same law law number one but written from left i mean from right to left it is this way of uh, writing the law which i'm going to use um, in my equation so I'm given 2 to the power x plus 2, it will become 2 to the power x times, in this case, 2 to the power of 2 plus, I use the same law again, 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power negative 2 and then plus, now this is a, uh, another law that I'm going to use. In this particular case, I'm given, there is a law which says 1 over a to the power m is equal to a to the power negative m. So now you can see that for me to get rid of the division sign, which is this part, the 1 over, I must put a negative so that it will uh, remove the 1 over. So if I can use the same thing, the fraction 1 over 2 is the same as, um, in this case, if I say 1 over 2, it is same as saying, if I want to get rid of this part, I can simply say there is a power 1 there, which is 2 to the power negative 1. So that is the first part. The second part again, if you are given in the laws of exponents, if you are given a to the power of m, and then you have got a bracket, and there is an n, it means the two exponents must multiply to give you a to the power m times n. So these are the two uh, laws that we'll be using such that if I take it from here, if I'm given in this case 2 to the power negative um, 1, and then I multiply that times negative x, it can simply become 2 to the power minus 1 times minus x, which is equal to 2 
negative and negative will give you a positive so it gives you 2 to the exponent x so in this case i'll be having here also 2 to the power negative 1 bracket negative x is equal to 42 so when i've done that you can see that uh, as i said i can write it now to say this is 2 to the power of x the times can be written as a dot 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of x dot 2 to the power of negative 2 plus a negative and a negative will give me a 2 to the power of x or 2 to the exponent x this gives me a 42 now your calculator will come handy in this case what you have to do now the next stage here you need to factorize so we're going to factor in this case uh, we are going to factor 2 to the exponent x as you can see it is common it is common it is common so if i factor out 2 to the exponent x what will remain inside the brackets will be 2 to the exponent 2 plus 2 to the exponent negative 2 um, plus 1 because when I divide 2 to the exponent x divided by 2 to the exponent x remember there is a 1 that is going to remain here uh, most of the students will say nothing but there is a 1 because you are dividing in this case you are saying 2 to the exponent x over 2 to the exponent x if you cancel you are left with 1 so that this will equate to uh, 42 and then after that what you have is um, you need to take your calculator then and then you add everything that is inside the bracket to say 2 to the exponent 2 plus 2 to the exponent negative 2 plus 1 and then if you add that negative 2 and then it's plus 1 and then you're going to get 21 over 4 so you have got uh, 2 to the exponent x times 21 over 4 is equal to 42 so at this stage you also have to now um you are simplifying your i mean your algebra here you can choose to divide both sides by 21 over 2 here i mean over 4 and then i also can divide both sides by 21 over 4 or you can multiply by 4 over 21 or this one by 4 over 21 it is up to you whatever way you're going to do the answer will um, always be the same so whether you multiply or you divide um, you will still get the same answer so I choose to divide in this case so now if I divide so I'll be left now with 2 to the exponent x is equal to again uh, use your calculator more handy so you are saying 42 be careful how you divide it though so you have your fraction that's where you've got your 42 you have to play down and it is at the bottom that you have another fraction which is 21 over 4 and then your answer becomes 8 so as a as a, as a caution avoid um entering like some they put a division sign and another division sign immediately such that it will be 42 over 21 over c over 4 and your answer would be totally different is giving you 1 over 2 so what you must do is you must have your 42 you play down and that's where you uh, have your fraction and then it's your 21 over 4 and then it will give you your 8. Now when you've got your 8, the aim now is to express 8 also in terms of 2. And then you can remember that 2 to the exponent 3, this is equal to 8. 
so this will be the same as saying 2 to the exponent x is equal to 2 to the exponent 3 and if you remember we have um, an exponential equation law which says a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of y so if the bases are the same you equate the exponents it means x is equal to y so in the same way it also means the bases are the same therefore x is equal to 3 so that is how we can solve for x in that exponential equation now with our x is equal to 3 we can actually prove our answer remember here we're saying where there is x we are putting a 3 here and then where there is x we put a 3 so we do that we do that and then we do that so whatever there is an x we put a 3 if you test your answer it must equate to 42 which is 2 to the exponent 3 plus 2 and then plus 2 to the exponent 3 minus 2 and then plus in bracket it's 1 over 2 to the exponent negative 3 so that's what you are having whenever there was an x I substituted with a, a 3 if you say equal to you can see that it is also giving me 42 therefore it means my value or my answer for x in that particular instance it is correct so you can actually mark yourself um, without having to rely on whether I mean the examiners got it right or they check whether you got it right or wrong you can uh, yourself check if ever your answer was correct and you can leave that exam room knowing that that particular question you managed to nail it I hope this was of benefit to you I uh, if you um, benefited from the lesson, I will encourage you to uh, leave a comment or press the like button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, you can subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscription channel. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.